All right, welcome to catsandcarb.com and uh, I'm going to show you how to tie a hair rig. Now, a hair rig, like this one here, refers to any rig where you put the bait on this piece of string, on, on this hair, rather than on the point. So we're all familiar with hooks where you, know, you put a worm or a piece of corn, you stab it onto the, the tip of the hook, and you slide it up onto the shank. With the hair rig, you put the bait onto this little hair right here instead of on the hook. So let me demonstrate here. And this thing in my hand here, this is a baiting needle. Okay, This is how you bait it. So you've got a boilie, which is just a little round ball of bait. It's a Scopex flavored boilie. And you just shove the baiting needle through. And you can see there's a little groove, a little notch on the end of the baiting needle. And on the end of the hair rig is a loop. And I can kind of spread it out better so you can see it. Yeah, so, so you can see there that we've got this loop on the end of the hair. And you've got this baiting needle little hook in the end of the, the needle. And you just go and you shove this through the loop, hook it on like that, and then you just slide that on to the hair. And then you back your needle out, and then you have what's called a bait stop. So this little translucent piece of plastic is how you keep your bait from coming off the hair. You take it and you shove that in through the loop, the same loop you put the baiting needle through, kind of tease it on there, and then pull it tight. And now you've got a piece of bait that won't come off the hair. Now this hair rig is great for a lot of things. Uh, the, one of the best parts about it is if you have fish that are really wary, the fish comes up and it grabs the bait and it kind of mouths it. And the fish can roll this around in its lips to kind of test it out and won't feel a hook. And so then it ingests the hook into its, in, and takes it into his mouth and you can catch it. The other thing about a, boy, uh, a hair rig is it tends to always result in a nice clean hookup in the bottom of the fish's mouth. Okay, what happens is the tension of the bait that wants to stay in the fish's mouth because it's chewing on it pulls the, the hook upright and that pulls the tip downward. So the fish is grabbing the, the bait, the tension on the line from the rod causes the point to always dig downwards and that digs right into the bottom of the fish's mouth. And uh, in carp fishing, this is nice because that's a real meaty part of the, the carp's mouth. They have, they have soft mouths, but there's a substantial bit of meat down in the bottom of the mouth, so it's more less likely to tear out, and it's less likely to do more damage to the fish if it swallows it. With uh, cat fishing, uh, catfish have that bottom plate, and so as long as you've got a big enough gap in the hook that the bottom tooth plate of the, the catfish uh, can fit in between that gap, this uh, point will slide up underneath the, the tooth plate and that will never come out. And so as long as you have a big enough hook on the catfish, it, it works really well. And so you just don't lose nearly as many fish. And if you have really wary fish, um, they'll just suck this up right away. They won't even know there's a hook on it until you, you've caught them. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it is it allows you to use baits that you obviously couldn't do by stabbing on the point. I couldn't put this boilie on the hook. Okay, It allows you to use much smaller hooks, more delicate hooks, compared to the size of the bait, which makes it harder to detect. And it also allows you to use those kind of off the beaten path baits that the fish haven't used. So anyway, that's one kind of hair rig right there. Um, let me show you uh, a larger version. 
Okay, this is is uh, another. Well, this is one of my more my bigger catfish rigs. And as you can see here, by getting it up on something dark, this one. The only di there's a couple differences. Uh, first off, this one's with obviously with uh, braided line, and this one's with monofilament. Now, the difference is that you want on a hair rig like this, you want there to be an angle of about 30, 40 degrees, where the leader is coming off the eye at about 30, 40 degrees. Okay, um, with braided line, the uh, the line is too uh, supple, so it won't maintain that angle. So I have a little bit of shrink tubing around here, and the shrink tubing comes off, and I've bent the shrink tubing at that thir magic 30 degree angle, so that uh, it does that. And the purpose of that angle is it helps the hook turn and dig into dig into the, the, the flesh of the bottom lip better. It'll, what'll happen is as soon as the eye of the hook starts to emerge from the mouth, it helps the hook turn into the bottom of the fish's lip. So you're less likely to have the fish able to spit it out if you have that 30 degree angle. With monofilament, the natural stiffness of the monofilament will, will get you your, the angle you want without shrink tubing as long as you feed it the right way through the eyelet. You don't want the monofilament coming up this way out of the monofilament. You want it coming down this way through the monofilament. So at any rate, um, so that's the major difference between you know braid and monofilament rigs. Other than that, it's just really the size is the only thing different. Um, this catfish rig here, I'm using um, the, uh, the wacky Three aught hook. This is a nice, uh, nice rig for a larger catfish. And the bait that I'm using with it is a 30 millimeter pellet. So you can see this is a pretty substantial pellet. This is a, a halibut pellet. It uh, thing just smells to high heaven. Uh, but it's, uh, it takes three days for this thing to dissolve in water. So you can put this on the end of the hook and little fish have a real hard time stealing it. And, uh, but it goes on just like the, it goes on just like the boilie does. You just uh, feed it on through. And uh, there's a loop on the end of this hair. And, and you just slip it on like so. And then you put a bait stop on there and you're good to go. Okay, so that's two different type of hair rigs, but enough about that. Um, you probably want to see how to tie one of these things. All right, so the first thing you do is get out the length of leader that you want. Okay, so, oh, about uh, 16 inches of leader. It's plenty. Go and, uh, so we got our leader there. And then you choose your hook. Okay, we've got lots and lots of hooks for you. We have the uh, Ace Razor Points here. Got uh, some uh, number one hooks. I've got the uh, Captor, Quarter Captor Wide Gap, number eight. So this is a little bit more of a smaller hook. Or if you want to go for catfish, we've got our three aught wacky hooks. Um, another good one for hairs for catfish is the laser uh, trocar uh, saltwater. Those here, this is at the three aughts. Um, and but we got mustads, one aughts here, and then some gamagatsu trailer hooks and some two aught size. So we got a little mixed bag here. Now here's when you're picking a hook for for this type of rig. What you're looking for is you want no offset. Okay, so uh, what do I mean by no offset on the hook? Um, let me show you here on one of these trailer hooks. Okay. Okay, you've got a trailer hook and 
if you go and you look at this, you can see that the point and the shank are perfectly aligned this way. The point doesn't tip to one direction or the other. Let me show you an example of one that is offset. See right there? See how this hook is offset? It's offset so it kind of twists off to this side. Okay, a lot of bait hooks are that way. You don't want that. And the reason why is the offset as it's pulling out of the fish's mouth works for you if it's flipped over this direction. It makes it even stick in better. But if it's flipped over this direction, it has a hard time sticking in at all. And so 50% of the time, the hook won't catch properly exiting out of the fish's mouth. So you want no offset. All right, so let's show you some other things. So look at the eye here. Another thing you want to look at is you want to make sure it's a true, complete eye. So on this one, you can see there's no, there's no gap. The line can't escape. This one, the line can. Now this is a bit of an exaggerated, but you want to make sure that that's closed, okay? So at any rate, uh, for this one, I'm going to use the Ace uh, razor points here because it's good size for the catfish I'm going after. I'm going to be going after some uh, channel cats in about the you know, 5 to 15 pound range. And uh, I just really like this size, the number one size for that. So, at any rate, so we got this hook. Let's start off with tying the hair rig. Okay, first thing you do, the leaders, you just do a simple overhand knot on the very end. And this is going to form the loop for our bait stopper. Okay, and you want a small loop like that. Okay, see that? Just wide enough to stick the baiting hook in. And then you kind of use the baiting hook, the baiting needle to uh, get some tension out of it. And go and trim off the tag end. So at this point, so at this point we just have a piece of leader with a little loop on the end of it. Okay. Then what we want to do is you want to figure out how long your hair is going to be. And so you just take your hook and uh, eyeball it out and see how long you want it. The other way to do it is to just go ahead and put your bait on. So. You can just go ahead and do this right now. Once you got the bait stop on there and the boilie, just uh, pull it through, get it nice down, and now you've got your bait on the end of the leader. Okay, and you can use that then to do a more accurate measurement of how where you want the hair to come off. Okay, and the next thing you do is you go ahead and you get one of these little rings. Now there's a number of ways to, to, um, to do this, but I like to use these little rig rings. Okay, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to pin the hair to the shank so that it comes off there. And you can see in my other ones, I have used this little uh, ring to do that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do on this one too. Uh, 
Okay. So once you've figured out where you want the hair to come off, the shank, take it and uh, just do a simple overhand knot. Okay. On the ring. And all we want to do is you just want to make that ring not slide up and down. So So we've got the bait stop, the boilie, and the rig ring all on the leader. Now time to attach the hook. We attach the hook using a knotless knot. This is how you tie a knotless knot. You feed the point of the hook into the rig ring and once it's on there you want it to come off right at the beginning of the bend of the, the hook. Okay, right there. And hold the pitch the leader up against the shank of the hook and then take the tag end and feed it through the eyelet. Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to start whipping the, the knot down the shank, or whipping the line down the shank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. About eight, nine goes is good enough. And you kind of tease it down. It looks pretty, and uh, there's no wiggle in there. And then what you do is you go and you take the tag in and feed it back through the knot. And you have it always coming down. You want the tag in always to go down through the top, coming out on the, of the side of the eyelet at the point. And then there you go. And this one's that's. How you go, you got a hair rig. Okay? Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can put it a little higher up, you can put it a little down low, you can make the hair longer, shorter, different sized hooks. And uh, then if you want to get the angle right, you go and take some shrink tubing, like this uh, quarter safe zone shrink tubing, you cut off a little piece, you slide it over the eyelet, and you can uh, steam it. And then that'll give you a nice uh, protection on your knot and will also uh, help the angle come out better. And then you can uh, tie a swivel or a quick clip on the other end and you're good to go. But that is how you do a basic hair rig. Anyway, thanks for watching.